This video is sponsored by you. Grab our all-in-one bundle and get access to over 2 terabytes of royalty-free sounds. Use our code F2S5 for $5 off. Since I have the binaural DPA4560 microphones, sometimes I get requests if I could record in nature. And in this video, we do just this. So let's take them out and record some nature sound. And the first sound request that I would like to cover is walking with the binaural microphones and then I have the iPhone in my hand and then I keep on walking from that area all the way over there and then I want you to pay attention how the sound changes. When I'm down there you will hear more of the cicadas but less of the river that is down there but then when I come over here this will change. So let's do this. Using the Mix Pre 10 this time, if you're wondering, because I don't have the F3 with me anymore. That looks nice. Test, test, test. Mm -hmm. And card is in, I hope. Yes. <laughs> $300 saved with this bag. Because I used the bag also for the other microphones, you see, I can have them plugged in here. But for this, I only need channel one and channel two. We are rolling. So I'm gonna walk with you right now all the way to the other side. So pay attention how the sounds changes. For the next sequence, I would like to try something very different. I would like to try finding a tree that has the same width of my head. And then first we are listening through my ears and then we placing this microphone around it and then see and listen to the difference. This could be interesting if I want to do overnight recordings or I have a drop rig. It would be a very expensive drop rig to be honest, but no risk, no reward. So let's see how that sounds like. Let's go try to find a tree. Now, this has almost the same width in my head. So first I stand here and then we change over to the tree recording. So I'm ready to record. Are you ready with your headphones? Let's take a listen. All right, and now let's change over to the tree recordings. All right, we all set up. All right, what do you think? Enough separation? Let me know in the comments down below. I try to have almost the same 
height. And everything is set up. The Sony PCM is ready, the DPAs are ready, and you let me know in the comments down below which recording you like more. This one with the Sony or the DPA and the sound devices. Ah, it's so nice here. So what do you think? Which recording do you like more? The one from the Sony PCM-D100 or the DPA with the sound devices? Or maybe you like both. Also in the next sequence, that's another sound request. Somebody would like to know if these microphones pick up breathing. And lucky you, because right here behind me is a really steep incline. And what we're going to do is I have the phone in front of me again, and then naturally I go up and I'm pretty sure that my breath is going to get stronger and heavier. So let's see how the microphones record and pick up these noises. So this is already great. As you can see, it's really steep here. So now I'm going to turn on the recording and then we record me breathing. Do the DPA pick this up or not? Let's find out. All right, let's walk. And I will naturally start breathing probably, just a little bit. And I made it to the top. Now, what do you think about the breathing? Is this too strong for you? Or would you say it's acceptable? It really depends on what you want to use the recording for. But if you just want to have a microphone that you can use for slow walking, for recording nature sounds, but also city ambience, market ambience, which is another video that we would like to do with the DBA 456 series. We're going to check out the market and then we record sounds with them as well. Also, another note, it is really hot here and it's very humid. So if you're worried about condensations and humidity with these microphones, I haven't encountered any issues yet. So I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as we creating it and I can't wait to see you in our next one.